I want to ask you about some of your receivers. Just give me some quick thoughts as I say their name. A.J. Brown, let's start with. Explosive, physical, playmaker. You know, a guy who I think is more dangerous with the ball in his hands than, than he is without it. You know, it's a guy that, that we want to get touches and get involved. We've seen what he can do every time he touches the ball. Off schedule, crossing route, and ends up catching it late and, and turning it up and scoring. So it's something that he's done all year for us and, and hope to continue. Tajay Sharp. Consistent. You know, he's a, he's a guy, he probably hadn't had as many touches as he'd like, but he, he's consistent. He's there when we need him. You know, a guy we, we believe in and we trust that whenever his number's called, he's gonna be there to make a play. And he's done that multiple times for us this year. Janu Smith. Uh, strong, strong and fast. You know, you look at him as a tight end. He's a guy that, he's physical, he's tough. You see him with the ball in his hands, he's a lot like AJ. You know, he's tough to bring down. We always say the first guy never tackles him. He's able to, you know, fight through those those tackles and get that extra yardage. So he's made some big plays for us. Corey Davis. Corey Davis is uh, talented. You know, a guy who's been good for us. Tight coverage, guy on his back, and I was able to uh, kind of get it on the body. So, you know, I was really proud of the way he, he played fast, played physical, and, and was really crisp in his route. So, you know, really proud of the way he played. Ryan, what has been the key to completing 70% of your passes this season? I think it starts up front with the O-line giving me time and a clean pocket, and then the guys downfield making a play. You know, if I have that belief that if I put it in a good position and it's a catchable ball that our guys are coming down with it and they prove that time and time again. Is completion percentage the most important statistic to a quarterback when you start off the game in terms of what you want to do to be able to move the offense? I don't know if it's the most important, but it, it's important. Obviously, if you're if you're completing passes, generally you're gaining yards and, and getting first downs. Obviously, you want to stay on the field, want to be marching towards the end zone. So definitely an important stat quarterback has a great seat when a running back has a great year. And so you've been able to hand off to the NFL's rushing champion for 2019, Derrick Henry. As you've watched him work, what has jumped out to you? He's incredible. You know, you look at what he's able to accomplish in only 15 games, you know, set out uh, against the Saints. To, to get that crown in 15 games is, is truly incredible. A guy who's, who's consistent, he's strong, he's deceptively fast. You know, I didn't realize how fast he was till I got here and kind of saw him run in person. And, you know, he has the, the strength to, to gain yards when there's no gap there. He's running over guys or falling forward for two, three yards, keeping the chains moving. But also, if he gets in the open field, he can take it 60, 70 at any point. So I think he's that rare combination of, of height, weight, speed that you don't really see too often in a running back. Finally, winning's the most important thing in the playoffs, no doubt about it. But winning means you get to keep playing. And for you, in watching the joy with which you have played over the last two months and just how much fun it looks like you're having, we see the shots on TV, and I know you're over 30, but you look like you're about 17 with that smile on your face. Winning means you get to keep playing, and that's a huge factor because I know you want this team to keep going for what it's meant and what it can be. Yeah, no doubt. I love playing football. I love competing with the guys. I love the preparation day in and day out, the grind, and, and nothing's better than win in the locker room after a game. You know, just that moment you get to share with your teammates after putting in a ton of work, blood, sweat, and tears, and, and get to kind of just relish that moment in the locker room after the game. So obviously we want to keep doing that as long as we can.